back for part two of the Europe trip where we're in Paris. Now, before we go on our adventure, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and I know in the other video I wrote subscribe incorrectly. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen again in this video, okay? So, let's begin our trip. The correct pronunciation of this. Wow, Vic. You know when you have the thing, not the thing, you know when you have the word in the tip of your tongue and then you forget it like this? Okay, de nuevo. The right pronunciation of this monument is Arc of Triumph, which actually means Arch of Stars. And this monument was built because of Napoleon's victories and to celebrate it. Here, guys, I'm getting a little bit of history so you know you're like, yeah, I know what the Arc of Triumph Triumph is, you know? Mm? Nah? Okay, if you're just watching it just to see the beautiful sights, that's good too. The next spot we're going to see now, I was super excited for. There's one here in LA and there's one in Vancouver, but the OG, original, La Nure store is in Paris. There's one in LA where I'm from, but this is the official OG lingerie. And I'm so excited, I'm gonna have some tea in the side. I can't believe it, I'm gonna look out. Okay, let's the chit chat and showing the restaurant. Donde esta the macaroons? Where are the macaroons? Wait for it. So, since we're in Mandare, I mean, it would be unthinkable if we didn't get any macaroons, right? I got my caramel liqueur. I'm trying my French here, guys. I don't speak French, but... That's really good. I am from Uncle Paris and get yourself a macaroon. And I had never tried a macaroon before. I know, hilarious. Why haven't I? And uh, this was actually the first time I tried one. And whew. Now I was trying to be fancy and all that Londres and speaking French, but guys, do realize that I don't speak nada of French. I was gonna say, French, what? And no, I'm not gonna do that. I don't speak French. I speak Spanish and Portuguese and English. Our next stop was the Palace of Versailles. So we're here at this place is huge and check out that statue. If you don't know already, the Palace of Versailles had some French kings and royalty who stayed there. And it's this huge condominium, I mean it's huge. The palace is huge and the garden, whoo, gigante demasiado. So I got super excited when I heard there was a Madame Victorie. She was one of Louis XV's eight daughters. I know, he had eight daughters, that's a lot of daughters. And why I was super excited, obviously Victoria, but we had a lot of similarities. For one, she loved the color blue, and in almost all of her portraits, she wore royal blue. And that's my favorite color, and I was, oh my god. And in one of her portraits, she had a mini chihuahua. And I have a little chihuahua, as you guys know, Solita. Here, let me call Sol for you guys. Sol! Solzinha! Oh! Look! You see the camera? Sol! Look, you and me are like, 
Madame Victory, here, let's take a photo. Hey, Madame Victory, love her too, all right, so? Mwah! Okay, we're going in. So, this is Madame Victoria's, you know, room, so, hmm. So, does that mean it's my room? <laughs> So now we're in the gardens here in Versailles. As you guys can see, so very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just take a look at this, guys. This garden goes down miles, miles, and miles. This palace is huge. There was even a part I felt as if I was in the Maze Runner, running. They had these huge hedges. Huge! I could be there literally running me like Ah! There's something chasing me! A huge monster! But no, I wasn't gonna do that. Well, not that time. So, after the Versailles Palace, we went to... The Eiffel Tower! I mean, if you're in Paris, you gotta go there. About the Eiffel Tower theme, actually, it's not from the people who designed the tower, who was Maurice and Emile. They were the chief, you know, architects, designers. And the guy that they actually named the Eiffel Tower after was the head of the company, Gustav Eiffel. But he did contribute to some of the designs of the Eiffel Tower. I was over there. I had to get a selfie. I mean, come on. It's kind of. I put that filter on Snapchat. The mm, Kind of like that, I'm just missing some glasses right now, but I even got the hoops, but I have to get a selfie with the Eiffel Tower. I mean, come on. Here's the view from the top of the Eiffel Tower, guys. Magnifique. Oh no, not gonna do that. No, we don't do that in Brazil. Mm -mm. I mean, magnifique. That's not magnifique, and I'm not looking at the camera. I uh... Guys, we're at the top of the Eiffel Tower. I was just saying, I'm a little scared to have my phone out because it's like, ah, it's gonna fall. But, you know, I gotta, gotta do the video for you guys. I can't keep this view from you, I mean. Yeah. I wanted to do the view for you guys, but uh, look what happens. Uh, I think I better. Yeah, I also think I better not get too close to the edge and see my phone go. <laughs> I tried to do the sound effect, but it didn't work. But you get it, like go. What am I gonna do? No phone. Yeah, I also agree. We got a bridge there. We got a bridge. Where's the loo? The loo. The loo is on that side. Okay, okay, we got that. And then uh, here's one of the famous churches. And there's the Notre Dame. And then the. the, 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 the. So at the top, or the highest place you can get to, the summit in the Eiffel Tower, you can see Gustav's private office, which he had there. And he had many special guests there, too. For instance, Thomas Edison. And it's super cool, they actually have this little sculpture, not little sculptures, these big like dolls of uh, Gustave for Eiffel <laughs> and Thomas Edison that you can see there and it's super cool as you're gonna see. Guys, look, I'm gonna do a magic trick. You see this piece of bread? I'm gonna turn it into something else. One, two, three. It's a camera! Get it? Huh? Yeah! Me trying to do a magic trick. Really gotta work on those. I got the whistle this time though! You guys got that? You got that? You saw? 
<laughs> so I had to add this part when we were leaving Paris. Super sad. But I had a great surprise in the airport. After me and my friend checked in, I saw there was a little girl, she was waiting in the side. They had already checked in, but she was looking at me and kept looking, she was smiling. And she came up to me after we were done checking in. She's like, are you from Project MC Square? That made my day! I guess I was in Europe and, you know, I wasn't expecting it. And she's like, can I take a picture? And we were running a little late to our flight, but I always, always will make time for my fans and for everyone who supports and because I really appreciate you guys and you mean the world to me. <laughs> and next up is See you later. Beijos. Mwah.